Hi, this is Chris with Fisher Workshops, and in this tutorial, learn how to make a simple and beautiful coaster set. A free printable PDF pattern for this project can be downloaded at fisherworkshops.com. This project requires no stitching to assemble and can be completed in just one to three hours depending on personal details. Subscribe to Fisher Workshops to get regular updates on my latest video releases and projects. Thank you for watching. For this project, I'll be using 8 to 9 ounce thick leather. First, I'll be using an Olfa circular cutter to cut out the coasters with. I set the scale at 4.75 cm to make a circle 9.5 cm across. Now adjust the circle cutter to 2.3 cm and carefully carve a circle 4.6 cm across. Carefully carve the circle about 1.5 mm deep, but don't carve all the way through the leather. As you carve the center circle, turn the leather piece rather than the circular cutter. This will make it easier to control the depth of the blade as you carve. Now dampen the center area and wait a couple of minutes for the water to be absorbed by the leather. I first used the checkered beveler around the interior of the carved circle before applying the basket weave stamp. There are a lot of different sizes of basket weave stamps, but for this project I used my smallest stamp. I purchased this particular stamp from Berry King Tools. Before stamping, draw a faint line across the middle as a stamping guide. Line the basket weave stamp along one side of the line and stamp along that line. Continue to stamp the interior as illustrated. As a last step, I'll go over the edges with the beveler one more time to smooth everything out. Now apply slicking gum to the back of the leather and burnish with a wood or glass burnisher. Now I want to apply a stain or finish to my piece. I'll first apply a dye, then an additional coat of brown stain. I do this way to get richer tones from the stain, but it's not essential. 
be careful not to stain over the tooled areas. I applied a couple of coats of glossy sheen after the stain completely dried. Once the sheen is dried, I bevel the edges on the front and back. I applied a little brown dye to the edges before burnishing. Apply a slicking gum of your choice to the edges and burnish with a wood slicker or pro burnishing tool like the one I'm using. After burnishing the first time, I gently sand the edges with a piece of microfine sandpaper and repeat the process. This process will produce a much more glossy shine and burnish in the end. As a final step, I apply a little wax to the edges and polish with a cloth for a perfect shine. Now I want to apply a little antique stain to the stamped area to blend everything in. Wipe off any excess stain with a dry cloth, apply a final coat of sheen, and you're finished. For the coaster holder, I'm going to use the same thickness of leather as the coasters. Using my template, mark where the holes and center should be cut out.
Bevel the edges with an edge beveler, stain, and burnish the edges. For the string I used 1.6mm thick leather and cut it about 44cm long. First tie a knot on one end and string the rest of the leather through and finish it with a knot. Finished. Let's see how it looks. 